So you boot up Dragon Quest XI, encounter the main cast of characters, and you notice Jade. Or maybe you don't. There are three female characters you can romance in Dragon Quest XI, Serena, Veronica, and Jade. I chose Jade because <coughs> the best girl, and I don't do one-way field trips to my local prison. Let's talk about Jade's character, cause why not? I want to. After that, we'll get Reddit's thoughts on Jade. Jade is a martial artist who wants to protect the Luminary because when she was young, she accidentally failed to keep hold of him while being chased by monsters, causing the two to be separated for quite some time. Something you could tell throughout the story affects her deeply. Her dedication to the Luminary is unreal. She jumps off a cliff to not be separated from the main protagonist, and this girl is afraid of heights. She is kind-natured and protective with a splash of tomboy mixed in, like every best girl. Jade is the daughter of King Carnelian and is a princess of Heliodor. She's royalty, but she doesn't really give off that vibe at all, probably because she spent most of her life traveling the countryside with Rab. Rab is actually the one who taught her martial arts. For the most part, she's a wholesome girl, but I definitely think being raised by Rab gave her a bit of a naughty side. She gives puff puffs to monsters, bro. Let's just pretend that's not canon. <laughs> For a good bit of the story, Jade sees herself as Eleven's big sister of sorts, and it's cool that in Dragon Quest XI, they added her as a romance option because in the Jade ending, she realizes the Luminary has grown to be quite capable, and that she can even rely on him. She doesn't always need to protect the main character, but they can live as equals. Now, in Dragon Quest XI-S, there is a bonus Jade side story after Act 1, this additional content isn't bad, but I wouldn't say I liked it either. It's cool to see Jade's sense of justice and her willingness to protect others after the fall of Yggdrasil, but of course the spectral sentinel that she has to go against is a perverted monster who brainwashes her. Kind of disappointed. Would have liked to see Jade go against a genuinely sinister villain, not Booga. <laughs> but how does Reddit feel about Jade? I asked. What is your favorite thing about Jade and got a lot of responses. Let's read some of them. Besides comments like this, which trust me, I fully anticipated, one stood out. Beautiful tomboy. Straight to the point, and I approve. This one is from Coolio Kenneth. There's something about princesses that are really unprincess-like that I adore. The notion of someone being of high birth but not caring about it one bit, instead preferring to live life on their own terms, Jessica Albert is another great example, as are many JRPG characters in general, like Lin from Fire Emblem 7 and Zeke from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I love this archetype as well, the royalty that doesn't act like royalty, I love that. This one is from Jordium Z. I'm pretty sure this person watches the channel. I feel like I've seen them comment, so I had to include their thoughts on Jade. Well, outside of being really attractive, I really like the balance of her personality. She is really kind and caring, but also has a side that is assertive and ready to fight. Like, she was ready to kick the player in the face if you said no in certain dialogue. I remember that moment. I'll probably have it on the screen if I can find it. This one is from Type Zero. How much she genuinely cares about our hero and supports him throughout the game. Big sister vibes, for sure. TL Tomorrow says, I love her design, but also that she uses spears, which are awesome and totally unrepresented in RPGs. And those are some of the Reddit comments I wanted to read. There will be a link to this Reddit post in the pinned comment because I got quite a few responses. You might want to check it out for yourself. And I'd have to say for me personally, my favorite thing about Jade is her strong will for what she believes in and her purple hair. Purple is actually my favorite color, so that's probably another reason why I have a soft spot for Jade. What about you? What are your thoughts on Jade from Dragon Quest XI? I'll catch you guys in the next Dragon Quest video, and uh, peace. Also, please help us reach 700 subscribers. We're almost there. Come on now. We can make it.